four months into El Salvador's experiment as the first and only country in the world to adopt Bitcoin as legal currency, the International Monetary Fund had seen enough. Drop Bitcoin now, its board of directors warned in January, saying the cryptocurrency poses large risks to the financial stability of the nation and its citizens. President Nayib Bukele fired off a response via Twitter, an internet meme that compared the IMF to Homer Simpson. A power-hungry populist who brands himself the CEO of El Salvador, Bukele has become one of the world's foremost Bitcoin evangelists since pushing a law through Congress that requires businesses to accept the cryptocurrency for goods and services. His grand plan has so far produced tepid results. El Salvador is believed to have lost as much as $22 million in reserves thanks to dramatic plunges in the cryptocurrency's value. Fraud targeting users of the country's official Bitcoin wallet, known as Chivo, has been widespread, with at least 1,000 people reporting that their identities were stolen through the app. And despite Bukele's promise that Bitcoin would make life easier for the millions of Salvadorans who don't have bank accounts as well as those sending remittances from abroad, few appear to be using it in their daily lives. None of that has deterred Bukele, a former marketing executive known for his irreverent, internet-friendly antics. He keeps acquiring more bitcoins with the country's cash, bragging on Twitter about buying the dip on his phone while naked. Next month, in what experts say is its riskiest move yet, El Salvador will issue a first-of-its-kind $1 billion bitcoin bond. Half of the money raised from the bond offering will be used to build a tax-free Bitcoin city powered by an extinct volcano whose geothermal energy will be harnessed to mine new Bitcoins, according to the government. The other $500 million will be used to purchase more Bitcoins. The 10-year bond offers investors an interest rate of 6. 